Welcome to the Somerset County Library's Borrowing and Reading eBooks on the iPad class. Today we will go over the following Borrowing and Reading eBooks Using Hoopla, and Borrowing and Reading eBooks Using Overdrive. Borrowing and Reading eBooks Using Hoopla. On Hoopla, titles are always available, and you can borrow eight items per month. To access Hoopla, Tap on the App Store icon, tap Search, enter Hoopla Digital in the search box. Tap the Hoopla Digital app and tap Install. Once the app has been installed, either tap Open or if you're on the home screen, tap the Hoopla icon. If you have a Hoopla account, enter your email and password. If you do not have a Hoopla account, click Sign Up. Enter your email address and confirm. Enter a password and confirm. Tap Next. Search for the library associated with your library card and tap Agree. Enter your library card number and tap Next. Tap on Search and enter an author or title in the search box and tap Search. You can filter the results by tapping on Filter. It can be filtered by format, user rating, release date, date added, and language. Tap on the cover of the ebook that you want to borrow. Tap Borrow, and tap Borrow again when the confirmation screen appears. The ebook will be borrowed for 21 days and will automatically return. To read the ebook, open the Hoopla app. Tap on the book cover of the book that you want to read. If you are just beginning the ebook, tap Read. If you are resuming reading the ebook, tap Resume and it will open to where you last, the page you last read. Borrowing and reading ebooks using OverDrive. There are a limited number of copies available, but holds can be placed and there is an always available collection. You can borrow 10 items at a time. To access OverDrive, download the Libby app by tapping on the App Store, tapping Search, entering Libby in the search box, tap Libby by OverDrive, and tap Install. When the app is installed, either tap Open or tap the Libby app if you are on the home screen. Tap Yes if you have a library card. If you have Libby on another device, you can tap Copy from My Other Device. If you do not have Libby on another device, tap I'll Search for a Library. Enter the library associated with your library card and tap the magnifying glass. Tap on Maryland's Digital Library. Tap the library associated with your library card. Enter your library card number and tap Sign In. Tap Next. Tap Search to look for an ebook by title or author. You can also tap More Options. A search can be refined by tapping on Refine Search. You can refine by format, such as ebooks and audiobooks, language, audience, compatibility, and availability. Once you've found an ebook you want to borrow and it's available, tap Borrow. You can change the number of days it is borrowed by tapping on the 21 days or the number of days that appears on the screen. And you can change the number of days an ebook is borrowed to 7, 14, or 21. Tap on Borrow. If the ebook that you want to read is not available, you can place a hold by tapping on Place Hold. You will receive an email when the ebook is available to be borrowed. And you will have three days to borrow the ebook. To read the ebook you borrowed, open the Libby app, tap on the ebook you want to read, and it will open either to the beginning if you were just starting the ebook or to the last page that you read. The ebook will automatically return at the end of the borrowing period. I hope that this video on how to borrow and read ebooks on the iPad has been helpful. Please feel free to contact the Somerset County Library if you have any questions.